It's Brother Milk, the Hawaiian peacock. He likes aqua blue water. Is all he needs. In unconventional aquatics, just singing to him, yeah. Open up your eyes, ah. Uh, and now we're free, say aqua blue water is all I see. Bluer than the sky, and it's all so deep, say island to island, just you and me. Ja, as a guide, nah. What more we need, say sail away. Boom! Aloha! This is your boy, Brother Mel, aka the Hawaiian Peacock, here with another video for you. Hey, before we get started, huge shout out to my boy Anthony at Unconventional Aquatics for that intro. Are you kidding me? Playing the bongo? I mean, who even has a bongo nowadays? I don't even know anybody. He's the first. But that intro, Anthony, was hot, but thank you so much, man. Playing the bongo, singing. What? Comment down below if you guys think that was an awesome intro, man, because I was digging it. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to do a water change on the pond. Yes, big ponds need to do water changes too as well. They're just like a big aquarium. It's just outside and there's more gallons. So I want to show you guys how I do my, my water change. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to feed the goldfish too. Um, I've been working with them for months now on trying to train them to actually maybe one day eat out of my hand. That's the ultimate goal. Um, and uh, we're getting close. I actually, they used to be real skittish in the beginning, but now I can kneel down to the pond and they'll come up to the surface and I can just kind of sprinkle some, uh, we're gonna give them some pellets. I usually feed them twice a day. We're gonna give them pellets and then I usually give them flake food later on in the afternoon or the evening time. So this is the flake food that I use. It's really high in protein. It's made by Tetra. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the lighting here but anyways it's really high in protein to help them through those cold nights and then we got hikari uh, pellet food which i use too as well so anyways those are the two foods that i feed them i usually give them pellets in the morning and then i just wash it down in the evening with some flake food and uh, so far so good no casualties we've had some cold nights when i say cold it's like in the 40s you know an occasional 30s, high 30s too here in Sacramento, California, but they're doing great. I don't have a heater out there. I've been looking and pricing for a heater for Tiki Falls 2.0. Um, if you guys have any suggestion, leave some links down below in the comments. I'll take them. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna do a little quick light feeding of the goldfish, and then we're gonna do a water change on the pond. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and kneel down, and normally they would be skittish and running around, but here you go, look at them. Aren't they looking gorgeous? Sorry, you got the reflection of the fence there. But um, they'll see me with the food. I'll just kind of hold it out here. And they know I'm going to feed them. And um, I'm just going to grab some pellets here. And what I'm slowly doing is I'm slowly training them. There you go. I'm slowly training them to take the food closer and closer to me. You can see they're actually really close now. And slowly but surely, I'll get them to eat right out of my hand. I'm kneeling down. I'm probably about three feet from them. And here's my hand. My hand's probably like maybe six inches from them. So as you can see, they're not skittish. They used to run away and hide. I'm gonna actually do a water change and clean out the filters in that filter box there. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like if you don't remember. So this will be the first time I'm doing a big water change and cleaning out the filter box. So we're going to have to shut it down. I'm going to bring it up to the surface and we're going to go ahead and um, clean out uh, the sponges and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do there as well. And uh, we're not going to clean the sponges that are in the uh, water fill, uh, the waterfall filter. We're not going to, we're going to leave those um, just for the beneficial bacteria. We'll do it like maybe every couple months or so, but this is the first time I'm cleaning out this filter. We have another beautiful butterfly that's going up to the surface to get some food too as well. So all 10 fish are out. They all look good, they all look healthy, they're all active. And this beauty here, man, it's so platinum, it's too bright, there we go. Give it some shade. The platinum koi, looking beautiful as always. And let's get to it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, like any water change, is get 
some pond water that's going to clean our sponges. This is a five gallon. Whoa, this is heavy. Look at that grip. See that grip right there? Don't let me put my paws on someone. Next, we got this submersible pump that I'm going to go ahead and drop inside Tiki Falls 2.0. We're gonna plug it in and we're gonna to start to drain the pond. All right, so we got our five gallon bucket of pond water. We got our submersible pump down at the bottom of Tiki Falls 2.0 and this is a 400 gallons an hour pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes should be 200 gallons, right? And if in 30 minutes, cut that in half. An hour is 400 gallons. So that way we know we're at least draining 200 gallons out of the 600 gallon pond. Real simple math. See this tubing? It's gonna be pumping out the water as we follow the hose into my planter so it's gonna feed all of my ginger all of my ginger the whole row of ginger it's gonna pump out all this water full of nitrates which is good for plants the water is gonna come over here to my big bird of paradise plant too as well so all the water is being recycled all right here we go there we go water is being pumped out all this great nitrate water is gonna be feeding this entire row of Hawaiian ginger. That's why my plants look so great in the summer. Fish are doing good. The pump is still plugged in, obviously. It's going through the waterfalls, you can see it there. And uh, we're gonna slowly take this down. So I set my timer for 30 minutes. We'll come back in 30 minutes and see what it looks like. So this week's Aloha Positive Comment shout out is going to Larry D's Tanks and More. In last week's video, he said, excellent video, brother. Love the bonsai tree. He was referring to the bonsai tree that I made for your aquarium. The link will be right here because I'm fancy like that. Go ahead and click it and check it out. Thanks again, Larry, for the positive comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want that Aloha Positive Comment shout out, go ahead and leave a comment down below and it might get read next week. Thanks. It's time. All right, this is what it looks like 30 minutes later. Let's go unplug the filter. So we just shut off the filter and the pump. So I'm going to use an, my famous back scratcher. And we're going to go ahead and pull this filter box, which is pretty heavy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the filter box and uh, detach the hose. I'm gonna go ahead and run this pool net and skim the bottom and get all that detritus and gunk at the bottom. Look at that nastiness. All right, so here is the filter box. And ooh, look at that. Yeah, that looks nice, right? Look how that is the course. Ooh, this is the fine. Oh, goodness. All right, so here's the fine sponge. Pretty gunky, nasty. The other side is actually pretty clean, so we know it's doing its job, and we're going to go ahead and clean this out. Nasty. Clean sponges. Now we're going to go ahead and um, clean out the bio balls. There's a total of 10 bio balls. They're really big, and, um, yeah, it's all clean. Now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, fine sponge on first. And um, it, you can see it just has a hole in the sponges and uh, that goes right over where the hose is going. So it sucks all the water down through the sponges and then out the hose up to the waterfall spill. And this is the coarse sponge and the bio balls are at the bottom. Pretty cool setup. I'm gonna put this lid back on and uh, stick it back in. Let's go. Filter box is clean, set it back in the pond, attach the hose and let's plug it in. We got the hose going, filling up the pond. We're gonna bring it up to the right level and we're definitely not gonna forget our dechlorinator, which I use Prime. They do have some really good heavy duty stuff that you only like, you know, add a capful for a thousand gallons. I don't have that stuff. So Prime, 600 gallons, I'm gonna go ahead. Each capful is 50 gallons worth, so I'll just do the quick math and add the Prime. 50. 100, 
300. And we're going to pour out a little for the homies. Always got to pour out a little for the homies when you're doing water change. All right, here's what it looks like a couple hours later. All the fish are out. They're feeling good. They're having fun. The water is pristine. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video kind of puts things into perspective as far as having an outdoor pond. Yes, it's 600 gallons, and yes, you still have to do a water change, especially if you got fish, all right? You gotta clean the sponges and the filter. It's exactly like the same routine that you would have inside the house with an aquarium, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you guys picked up some tips and tricks. If you guys have a pond or if you're deciding to do a pond, this video, you guys can refer and go back to it and check it out. Please don't forget to subscribe. Be a part of the Hawaiian Peacock Ohana, guys. You're gonna miss a lot, I'm telling you. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I'm gonna leave a link on this end screen here so it makes it easy for you guys to subscribe. Just click on the icon, click on the videos if you guys wanna see some more videos of Hawaiian Peacock. I love you guys. Happy fish, happy life, much love, and aloha. Oh, the water, she...